Hello everyone. Today well, I'm talking about the basic summary of what we talked about in my previous video uh, about the variables and data types. It's just going to be a short summary because the previous video went uh, very long, a uh, lot longer than I expected. So we'll just go through the basic summary of what we studied um, on that video and it's going to be about variables and data types. Okay. <coughs> So let's talk about the values and variables. Um, a variable is a portion of memory uh, for storing a determined value. It could be in your brain, it could be in your computer. Okay, and uh, we need to retrieve those variables later on to do some further processing with the variables. Okay, uh, it could be numerical, it could be characters, or it could be sequence of characters, uh, which are also called the strings. We'll get to the strings later on in this video. Um, examples include 20 as a number, California as a string, A as a character, okay. <clears throat> now let's talk about the identifiers. Okay, a valid identifier is used uh, to identify a particular variable in a memory. It's like a reference, okay. A valid reference, valid identifier helps you identify, identify, uh, what is um, the variable that is stored in the memory with the help of a sequence of characters okay uh, it's a sequence of one or more letters digit or underscore character um, in C++ okay and um, it cannot be stored with a number okay um, best practice is to start with a letter you can start with the underscore but a um, lot of time in C++ uh, there are already some reserved keywords uh, you could possibly run into some keywords uh, that uh, start with underscore so you can make a lot of identifier just to you starting with a letter okay but you cannot start with a number and you cannot use any other special characters like a period or slash or anything like that okay uh, examples include my value underscore num or num2 etc um, there are restrictions with identifier and there, and there are something called reserved keywords in C++ you cannot use those keywords in C++ because they are already defined they are already defined in the library about what they mean and uh, uh, what kind of value they store okay you cannot use words like SM auto bool break uh, all these that you are seeing here are it's best not to use those also and and underscore eq okay beat and those those variables might also be already in, in the library so don't try to make up those as an identifier for your variable okay uh, an important note c++ is a case sensitive language which means uh, that if you uh, name an identifier as ABC it is not same as B A small b small c okay if you name it as a small ABC it's not same as big A small b small c or even big A B C okay they are identifiers that are completely different okay now let's talk about some fundamental data types C++ need to know what kind of data are we storing um, to do further processing later on without uh, knowing what kind of data type it is C++ will not be able to store it okay um, there are basically nine types of fundamental data types in C++ uh, char is a character or also called a small integer its size is one byte it takes one byte of memory in your computer um, sort int takes two bytes of memory on a computer it's also called sort integer int uh, takes four bytes uh, it's an integer number okay long int takes also takes four bytes uh, it's also called long integer boolean value true or false once in zero takes one byte of your computer memory float is a decimal decimal number you know if you need to store a number that also have a decimal place you use float uh, double is a double precision floating point number okay it takes eight bytes of of the memory and there's also a long double the size that i'm referring here one byte two bytes eight bytes for long double they are basically for 32-bit architecture you don't need to know all the about all those right now 
but that's this this size may not be true for all all the computers okay they can be different depending upon what kind of operating system you are using but this is the most you you'll find this probably in most of the computers that that you'll see okay uh, if it is a 64 bit uh, long double size may be different long int size may be different okay uh, and also there's a w w chart that should be char underscore t okay <coughs> now when you declare a variable you need to uh, give the identifier name um, and what data type are you trying to store okay for example here int a okay it means that there is I, I will store a variable named a which is going to be an integer okay float b uh, means that uh, i want to store a variable named b which is going to be of type float okay now double num that means i'm going to store a variable named num and it's going to be of type double okay this is how you declare it in c plus plus okay uh, you can also declare as int a comma b comma c uh, it means that you are declaring three variables named a b and c which are going to be of type int okay which is same as declaring int a in B and in C okay that's much shorter way to do those um, there are basically two types of integers in C++ also in C signed versus unsigned integer okay signed uh, integers can have both positive and negative numbers unsigned in can only have positive numbers um, <coughs> examples are signed in A unsigned in B by default c++ takes um, integer as a signed so if you don't say that it's a if you just declare it as int a then it's going to assume that you are declaring a signed int okay um, so yeah uh, int a is a signed integer a okay so let's look at this example program this is a basic program um, very pretty basic um, just declaring two variables named a and b which are of data type int we are also declaring a sum variable also type int uh, we are uh, giving value 23 to a 56 to b and we are saying that sum is going to be a plus b and we print sum in the screen I return zero because it's a successful when it is a successful um, compilation of the program and the program runs successfully okay uh so the, um, to use a variable normally we tend to declare and initialize those variables in c++ if you don't initialize a variable uh, basically initialization means that you are giving the value to an integer for the first time okay and when you don't initialize it and try to use it uh, c++ is going to store some random junk in your variable okay uh, and to initialize it a variable needs to be declared first otherwise it's going to be giving you some error saying maybe unknown data type a undeclared or something like that okay so we we initial we declare it like that say in a means that there is going to be a, a variable named a and this data type is going to be int and we initialize it by saying that a is some number okay 23 in this example so a equals 23 that statement is the initialization of variable uh, int a is a declaration of the variable okay understand that difference um, and in c++ both can happen in the same line you can declare and initialize at the same time um, you can say int a equals to 23 uh, so first we initialized uh, as int a then we uh, first we declared as int a that's um, that's this one is not initialized this one is supposed to be declared okay declared as int a then initialized int uh, that number as 23 okay in the same line um, <coughs> initialization can happen in two ways in c++ you can either 
given operator equals 23 or you can also say a in parentheses you can write 23 that will also initialize 23 to a in c plus okay now previous program can be written in this way too okay so a is equals to 23 b is going to have 56 sum is going to have a plus b and we print out sum to the screen and return zero okay now let's get to the strings string and when you are declaring a string in c you need to add a new library in your program and you need to include a c string okay at the start of your program so a string is a sequence of characters all right um declaring a string is same as like other variables you can say a string my name okay uh, value of a string data type will always need to be inside double quotes okay uh, example my name equals to dean okay that's inside double quotes now while declaring characters they should be given inside single quotes okay characters and a string are two different things a string is a bunch of characters within a same variable okay and a character named char can store only one character at a time for example char my char is a and it's inside single quote okay strings are in double quotes char is in a single quote okay and character you know takes only one character at a single time and a string is a collection of those characters okay in the same variable identify all right uh, string example program well uh, notice here we included c string and there's also another concept of adding the string it's called concatenation okay uh, this is very valid in c plus plus you can add two string into the same string and you can also declare a variable like you can add two numbers and declare it inside that okay and we included a c string here uh, that's important otherwise in this declaration is going to give you a compilation error uh, and we declared as see another string we added that another string to the first string it's going to Dean Jones so if I should have put a space here that would have been better so if you see out you it's gonna say my name is Dean Jones they are not going to have any space in between all right so that's all for this video is pretty short uh, that video was long uh, i'll try to make a uh, lot shorter videos um so yeah please rate comment and subscribe if you like the video i'm going to have a lot more videos uh now i'll just um not being able to make videos lately uh in next video i'm gonna talk about constants very important concept then operators then we'll talk about the basic input and output to end the basics okay then we'll go and do some fun programming in c plus plus after that um and i'm also planning on uh, doing introductory on java if you guys are interested uh please let me know i'm i'm planning on doing a whole uh i'm writing a notepad in C++ as an introductory video that will cover all the basics and everything that you need to know with the Java and you can get started from there um, yeah so please rate comment and subscribe uh, and have fun